Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with C++ CMake project inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. CMake is an open source cross-platform family of tools designed to build test and package software. CMake is used to control the software compilation process using simple platform and compiler independent configuration files. Native make files and workspaces that can be used in the compiler environment of your choice. So to actually get started, first we have to open the Visual Studio installer. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually got the Visual Studio installer opened. So I'm actually using the Visual Studio 2019 community. So we click on the modify. So once we actually get the, the, the installer workloads open, to be able to use the C++ CMake tools for Windows, you have, I mean, the C++ CMake tools for Windows is installed as part of the desktop development with C++ and Linux development with C++ workload. So if we scroll down, so as you can see here now, um, I've got desktop development with C++. So if I click on it, as you can see, it's already checked, yeah, which means I've already, I've already installed it. So if we actually check on this box, yeah, and we look at the optional side, we can see that we've got the C++ CMake tools for Windows actually checked. That means, yeah, if you actually install this workload, this is actually installed automatically with it. Otherwise, you, if you're also installing the, the, the unit development with C++, so you click on it, if we look at the optional side here, yeah, We've also got the C++ CMake tools for Linux installed. So I'm not gonna do that because I've already got that installed. But then, if you actually want to install it individually, as an individual component, then if you come inside the individual component side here. So we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, all the way to comp compilers, build tools at runtime. And here, you should find the C++ CMake tools for Windows. Yeah, so this is a Visual, Visual C++ tools support for CMake. Yeah, so if you want to actually install it individually, then you have to check on this box and you should, okay, let me check on some other box here. So once you check on that box here, then you can click on the modify here. So this will actually install while it's actually being downloaded. So I don't need that because I've already installed it and I don't need what I've actually selected. I'm just going to close it, right? So for, for the next part is we're just going to close the installer <coughs> if you go through all the process. <coughs> so we're going to click on the create a new project. So now we've got the the, the new project dialog up, I mean, opened. Uh, we, we could select um, the C++ language. So once we select it, as you can see here now, I've got the CMake project. So this to build more than cross-platform C++ applications that don't depend on the, the dot solution or the Visual Studio project file. So we, we select this and then click on the next. So here you can actually configure the project details. Obviously, we're not going to look too much into that. So we click create. So this should take a while for the project to create. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the project created with two folders and one test file, right? We're going to look into that in a, in a moment. So basically, we have the outputs folder at the moment it actually contains nothing right and then we have the the cmake project too and it actually contains a cmake list dot test and then um a cmake project 2.cpp so and then the header as well 
So let's see what is actually inside the header. So as you can see here, we've actually got the IO stream and nothing really inside the header. Then, then we have the CPP. I mean, the the the, 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 the main C++ file. It's got nothing. Only the main method that is actually outputting hello C make right. So if we look at it here, there's nothing really showing. Then if we go inside the test file as well, and we have um, the version, the, uh, the the minimum version of C++, and then we've got the executable path of the application, right? So basically, it's the the startup part is set to C. I mean, dot CPP, the one that we just opened. So basically, when when we run it, this is supposed to run first. This is supposed to be the one running, right? We 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 actually going to look into that as well. So what we do is we're just going to make a very simple change. So we're just going to include. We're going to include IO stream. Yeah, and then we're gonna add string um, str. So this will be hello word from from C make. Yes, and it's just gonna remove this. Then we put our str here. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do now. So <clears throat> we're actually going to set the installation path for our for um, for the application. So this is actually they've actually got here to do. So we here this is what we actually pull. We install. So inside it is here. This is where we're going to put our target. Our targets, yeah. So this will be our project. Um, C make project two, and then application that our executable destination. So this will be. Um, See, make project two forward slash the bin. Then we close this as well. So, as you can see, it's a very simple stuff. So, if we actually look inside the output here, there's still nothing inside. So, let's actually try to run this. So, here now we can actually select a start method. So, if we look at it, we've actually got the C make executable created now so we can we can select that yeah and then we run it so as you can see here once we run it we've got that test file actually updated so we're going to look into that so we've actually got this hello world from cmake so we're going to close that yeah so look at the one we actually modified here and then this part here. So here, what we're actually going to do again is actually, we're actually going to leave it here for now. Yeah, I'm actually going to leave it here for now. Since the main, the main purpose of the video was to get us started with the C++ C, C++ image project. So on my next video, we will look at building on our knowledge, right? So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Blessed and peace. Bye-bye.